Welcome, friends. I'm Pastor Craig of the Union Church of Rio de Janeiro, and you are joining us for our weekly communion uh, number nine, Staying Connected in a Time of Isolation. Well, I've been sharing a series of short messages, messages of hope from the Psalms, and today we are continuing our unfailing love theme from Psalm 107. Psalm 107, verses 1 through 3, read this way. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His unfailing love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord, those the Lord has rescued, tell their story. Those He has redeemed from trouble, and those He has gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and the south. God hears our prayers from our place of trouble, and he restores us. Well, Psalm 107, 23 to 30 is the fourth stanza in this wonderful psalm, and it reads this way. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep, for he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens. They went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunken men and were at their wits' end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still. And the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet. I'm going to read that again. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet. And he brought them to their desired haven, their port. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. Well, whenever we study a passage, we want to ask, what does it say? What should I obey? And who should I share this with? And so we ask these questions, who, uh, where, what, how, why? And we see already in verse 23, who were being rescued. Merchants, businessmen. And where were they? Well, they're down on the sea in ships, on the great waters, the scripture tells them. The, the scripture tells us the great waters. What was their trouble? When verse 25 and 26, they were caught in a storm. Ominous waves were looming over them. They were being raised up and, and brought low. And in verse 26, 27 tells how they felt. Their courage melted. They staggered like, like drunk men. And they were at wit's end. They, they didn't know what to do. Here in verse 28, we see the, the pivotal part of the story, the reversal. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. How did God rescue them? What did he do? Well, we see that the Lord's wondrous works redeeming these unfortunate merchants. He um, stilled the storm, quiet, hushed the waves. He filled their hearts with gladness, brought them to still waters. He put a, a song of deliverance in their hearts. And he brought them, listen to this, he brought them to a destination their desired haven, a port. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love. I'd like to suggest to you that today that, that God is made large through our circumstances for His glory, but for our good. My question for you today is this. Are you in the place of real life challenge? Real life challenges. Don Mayon, when uh, talking about this particular psalm, he said that there are three types 
of people, those entering the storm, those in the storm, and those coming out of the storm. But perhaps in this unique time that we're living, we are all in this storm together. We're all caught up in troubled waters. We're all navigating uncertain seas. Well, you may be dealing with a number of challenges in the midst of COVID, and, and that includes uh, parenting. Maybe there's a prodigal child in your family. Maybe it's aging parents, job insecurity, unemployment, financial worry, dealing with the social distancing and, and isolation, and even sickness itself. Are you at your wits end? at times feeling helpless or hopeless and even very discouraged? Is your confidence and your courage melting away? Well, this morning I want to bring you good news, and here it is. God hears our prayers from the great and troubled waters that we're living in, and His unfailing love calms our storms. I want to show you a picture right now of a ship's compass. And I'm showing it for this reason, that it represents today, I'm, I'm suggesting that it represents a place of guidance and direction. You know, John 14, 6 says this, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 say this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. He is that way maker. Maybe you've heard this little song. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, He will direct your paths. His unfailing love calms the storm. He leads us to quiet waters. He leads us to that desired port, that safe haven, a place of peace and provision. God hears our cries from the place of real life challenges. And you know, this Psalm 107, the very last verse of this psalm concludes this way. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the unfailing love of the Lord. Well, each of us have a story to tell. What is yours? What's your story in the midst of this COVID crisis? Do you know God's unfailing love? If not, turn to Him today. Jesus certainly is the way, the truth, the life. If so, if you do know God's unfailing love, tell someone, tell someone what God has done for you. Share that hope that you have found in God's unfailing love with another. Would you pray with me? Lord, we cry out to you now in the place of troubled water. And maybe uh, some here listening today are in the chaos, maybe in the midst of the storm, and they just need to hear from you. I pray that you would calm the waters. I pray you would lead this person to that desired haven, that port, O oh Lord. Father, bring peace into the midst of, of, of a chaos where we're feeling out of control. I pray, Lord, that you would be magnified now through their story as you redeem and as you rescue what seems to be lost. Bring peace, bring comfort, bring confidence that can only come from you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Well, I would like to invite you to join us for our Sunday morning worship service. Sunday morning, every Sunday at 10 a.m. And you can join us on Facebook, on YouTube, on our website, simply by going to any of those platforms and typing in Union Church Rio. That's Union Church Rio. See, share, and subscribe. And I'd like to thank you for joining us today for our weekly communion. Stay well and stay connected.